Hey guys, thanks for watching our Twitch replay, but if you want to join in live, you can head over to Twitch and give us a follow, get your notifications, we stream every week, it's a lot of fun. Alright, alright, alright. I'm Matthew McConaughey. I'm not actually Matthew McConaughey, I'm Chris from Nerds of the West. Hello everyone, how are we all going? Hopefully you can all hear me and see me. Um, super duper excited for this playthrough of a very new game, which I'll get into in just a moment. Uh, give me a moment to just check and make sure everything's all hooked up properly. Feel free to say hi, let me know that you can hear me and see me. Um, everything looks alright. Okay, I guess we'll just jump straight into it. Thank you so much for, for joining me on this adventure. Um, I've missed a couple of streams over the last few weeks, um, and all I've got to say is I'm really excited to be back. Uh, and like I said, we're playing a very, very new game today, which is da -da -da -da, Tharsis. You might have seen the stream not long ago on the Nerds of the West channel where Tom plus a bunch of the other nerds joined in uh, for a game of, of Tharsis. I'm not sure exactly how well that went, because unfortunately I didn't get to make it. Um, Hey, how you going? The attack is 60. Um, I've, got a, I've got a really like crappy setup today. A single monitor and I'm using my phone for chat. So sorry if I keep looking down. Um, yeah, anyway, I didn't get the chance to play this game the other day. Um, but if you'll remember back to last Saturday or uh, Friday night, depending on where you were in the world, um, I won a game show hosted by none other than the lovely Tom, uh, our our creative director here at the Nerds of the West channel and as a result of winning I was rewarded with a game and that game was Starsis and I was like super duper happy because all right I've played the crap out of FTL if any of you have played FTL absolutely one of my top three favorite games of all time and uh, a bit of a sad story with that one I was playing it and I had a power outage um, and when I loaded up everything after the power had come back on my save had corrupted and I have I gotta say over a hundred hundred and fifty hours in that game and for whatever reason all of my achievements are still unlocked but the only way I could salvage the game was to revert it back to like r remove all of the like ships and all the things I'd unlocked and all the progress and sadly I didn't really feel like playing that anymore because like it's always so soul crushing having to start again from something you've worked so hard for but Tharsis apparently is quite similar it's a, a strategy game that's for sure and I'm guessing it's mostly kind of like a roguelike as well not too good on categorizing these kinds of games but also it's set in space which <laughs> qualifies um, and I did get to see some of the stream uh, the other week when we when we played on the Nerds of the West channel but uh, I must admit, I've only played one or two games since Tom very kindly gifted me uh, this copy. And from what I've played, it's it's really addicting. Um, and I didn't want to play too much because I wanted to share it with you guys on stream. So anyway, thank you so much for joining. Um, let's do a quick run through. New game. Okay, so I've already done the tutorial and the tutorial kind of explains exactly how the game works. Um, I won't do too much explaining. It's actually quite an intuitive game. After the first playthrough, you kind of understand what's going on. The meat and bones of it is actually developing your strategy. Um, we've only unlocked four characters so far, so there's real, really no reason to sort of uncheck some of the, you know, some of the characters and things. I think I'm not sure how it has a, an impact on gameplay, but as far as I know, the more the merrier. So let's hit, let's enter a normal game. I'm too afraid to go on hard at the moment. The cinematics in this game are quite lovely as well, and I think I'll just let them play. We had prepared for any disaster, for every disaster. Not all of them at once. We can't turn back, but how can we go on? Alert! Micrometeoroids have destroyed the pantry and crippled the ectomy. J Cross has been elected to ejected into space, rather, uh, and Mapia Musgrave suffered a fatal injury. Your new goal is to survive. 
So one thing you might have missed in a tutorial is um, the, the Iktomi, which is the name of this spaceship, uh, had two crew members, Jay Cross and Mapia Musgrave, and there was an explosion, uh, and that explosion occurred in the pantry, which is where like the food is stored. So the tutorial introduces you to the way the game is played. Uh, food becomes quite an important thing in this version of the, of the run because the pantry is gone. So really the only way you can get food is by growing it and to grow it you need crew members to be in there and then those crew members aren't fixing the whole breach for example in whatever station that is and it, it all goes to crap but it, it gives me FTL vibes very much so reminds me very heavily of that game so I'm super keen to get into it. Um, all right, so here's our display. We've got, that's the, the health, I guess, of our ship, the hull damage. Um, we've got our four crew members who always reside in some compartment of the ship. Uh, there's our food and assists and other resources, and these are our um, research topics, I guess. Um, it's a dice rolling game, wouldn't you believe? So. I'll just show you straight away. I'm not really going to be too fussy about my strategy in the first and the first run through. So you can choose a crew member and deploy them in an area of the ship. And then when you're there, you'll see that the area of the ship which has been damaged needs to be repaired and it needs 27 total points to repair it. And this so happens to be the food room. So that's quite an important thing. Um, these are like hazards. Um, if I roll a 1 or a 3 with any of my 6 sided dice, they get locked and I can no longer re-roll them. Uh, this character is spe a specialist, so she gets a free re-roll. Usually you only get one re-roll, but this character has two re-rolls. Uh, and if I don't, um, if I don't want to spend my dice repairing the, the place that I'm in, I can use it to instead activate the abilities of the room. So in this case I can actually harvest food by spending dice there instead. Uh, and I can use it to research things. I have to like make combinations of one through six to, to research uh, extra bonuses. Uh, and there's a holding area here, sort of like in Yahtzee, how you can hold dice. So I'm just gonna roll here. All right, so that assist meant that when I rolled a three, it should have been locked by this stasis hazard, but I had one assist. You get one free assist every round, uh, and you can synthesize new assists by researching them. So that's why that happened. Um, otherwise, this would be locked, and I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Um, okay, so I guess the six would be good to try and maximize the usefulness of each of our dice. There's no reason really not to re-roll. I don't have any doubles, these have to be equal to one another, so I have to get, for example, um, a 5 and a 5 to unlock one food, and then another 5 to unlock two food or something, you know, they have to be identical. Okay, so now they both got stasis there, see how they're locked now? I can no longer re-roll these dice or change them in any way. Uh, but since they're both threes, I think it's alright to, to use them over here to harvest food. Otherwise, my options would be to dump them into repair to bring it down to 15, or maybe use one of the dice for a research project, but I think it's much more valuable to get food. What food does in this game is it replenishes your, your character's dice. Uh, each of your characters has a dice thing there, um, the white squares. So obviously, so far, our captain has the most dice available and therefore will be the most useful when repairing systems and stuff. And you can replenish people's dice. Uh, that's the health on the right hand side and on the left is stress. I haven't figured out what happens when you hit maximum stress yet, but it's probably bad. So let's move on. So this has 21 integrity to repair still. And up here in the, I forget what it is, the laboratory, um, that needs 11 points to repair and there's some hazards in there as well. So currently, uh, if I were to end the turn, which is like a week to Mars, right? You'll see that there's 10 weeks to Mars up here. Um, if I end the turn or whatever, then I'm going to, this red bar here above the word moisture means that I'm going to take one hull damage. That's the impending damage to my hull if I don't prevent it. Uh, and this, um, this, what is it called? Um, penalize 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. Anyway, what the bad thing that will happen to me over here is that all of my crew members will lose one health. So that's not very good either. In fact, Alison Silver is actually quite low on health as it is. Um, I think it's really important to get that fixed up first. You don't have to go and fix rooms also. Hey Tom, how you going? Thank you for the coffee by the way. I've thoroughly enjoyed what little I've played on it so far. Um, you don't have to repair subsystems. Like you can if you choose to or if you have the spare dice for it. You can go into other rooms and activate their abilities. So for example the greenhouse you can use it to harvest food just like I did. And the med bay regains dice, uh, maintenance is hull repair and such. So you can actually like make the most use of your dice in that way if you're strategic enough. Um, the captain has a special power that he can give plus one dice to each crew within his module. Um, that might be useful actually. So if I send him into the into the food room here, you can always go back if you change your mind by the way so you don't lock everything in. <laughs> Penalty is the word. Thank you so much, Velvet Otter. I was completely stumped for a minute. Um, the penalty, yeah. <laughs> um, so I've already harvested some food in here, but what I'm looking to do is repair this so that Allison doesn't die instantly on the very first turn. <laughs> so, um, and my captain, Jean Olo, Uwu, <laughs> has um, three dice, but only two rolls. So I'll, I'll lock it in, Eddie just for the for the sake of demonstration. Okay, we dodged the hazards. Nothing of mine has been locked under stasis. So we've currently got, what's that, five, four and two is not uh, 11. So I could repair down to like 10. It even tells you there what you've got in, in the corner, 11. Uh, alternatively, and I think this might be a good idea. Oh, no, I've already, see I should have moved the captain last because if I were to use this five over here, uh, upon allocating the dice, you give plus one dice to all crew within this module here. So what that would do is give the captain back a dice and it would give Allison back a dice. Uh, but supposing I had done something in a different order and got like basically my other crew members in here as well, they would all benefit. So it's like a combo sort of thing. However, getting plus two dice by spending one of my three in the roll is probably a good idea anyway. Alternatively, see I can hold a dice if I can't change my mind. So I like the high numbers. I'm going to try and re-roll this too. Hopefully get something bigger. So there's another five. So currently I've got 14 of 21. I could really bring it down. Hopefully one of my other crew members can repair completely and I can spend the last crew member trying to repair the other room. Um. I'm gonna have to make a decision here. This is hard. I have lots of food, which is good. <laughs> Do it, says Tom. <laughs> um, yeah, see if I do this, like two dice being replenished is almost as good as like a food block, right? So food, I think completely restores one crew member's dice. So even if they're on number one, they go back up to five. So this, okay, consider this to be like half a food block just for the one dice. Maybe early in the game it's best to max food. I'll get minus one health at the end of the round if this isn't repaired, this food room. Um, and Allison will be down to one health, which she'll still be alive. So I think I can rescue her after that. And in the dice hold, we'll use these to repair as much as we can. Okay, I'm happy with that. So the mechanic can be, you can spend a dice of five or higher to repair the hull, which is fantastic. It's one of the only ways to get hull back beside the maintenance room. Uh, and Kayla Jones, the doctor, can actually improve the hit points of everyone in the room. Now, what I could do, oh, that's gonna cost hull. I'm on three health and I have one impending damage. I could send Pakal Lavorin into the food room as well and then send the doctor in and roll a five or higher and just heal everyone for one. Since everyone currently has a low hit point, maybe that's worth it. Two dice, but if she dies, yeah, good call. I really don't want her to die. 
Maybe it's better. Look, I, I know I have three structural integrity for the whole. One impending damage. I know I'm not going to blow up. Let's do that. Let's heal everyone. Uh, and also prevent the health loss, right? So two dice is not looking great. I would have to roll double six to repair this entirely straight away. So let's roll and see what we get. If we get... Uh, so that one is locked. That really won't do anything. Considering that, I do have a free space in my research project. This is kind of like the um, a chance on Yahtzee. Oh, who's the lucky winner? I hear something in my ears, but I have to wait 10 seconds for my phone. Hey, <laughs> KSUQX. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to the West. How are you going? Have you ever played Tharsis before? And if so, um, do you enjoy it? Does it float your boat? Is it similar to games like FTL, which float my boat? And the answer to that is absolutely. Um, I'm going to re-roll the two. There's really no reason not to unless I just roll a one and, and flub it completely. So do I spend my six now to repair the hull as much as I can? Which I think is probably worth it. Otherwise I could just repair uh, the whole ship by one and mitigate this impending damage. But the other crew member I have only has two dice. So they're in much the same position. Pa Pakal is probably going to have to help repairing, so I'll do that. Alright, done. Okay, last but not least, Kayla Jones. So hopefully I can roll well. Oh no. That's right, she's going to suffer damage. If you move out of or through a room that's been damaged, you sacrifice one of your health points to do it. At this point, I don't think Kayla could fix the moisture room. Let's have a look just to... Yeah, see, there are two hazards here and I need 11 repair. So I'd need to roll like five and above on... I'd need to roll like at least a six and then at least a five to repair this room completely. But then that would end the movement anyway. So it's probably better... And Tom, help me out here. Um, maybe I just... She's going to hopefully heal everyone anyway. Maybe I can go minus one health and plus one health by moving and just that would be that would benefit my the rest of my team so well. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oof, that hurts. Okay, there's everyone in the room. See, we're all in the same room together. Um, let's roll. Let's roll. Not what I wanted to see at all. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Ay ay ay. Tom, help. <laughs> um Well that's useless. I might as well put it there. Minus one health to everyone. Allison is currently gonna survive, but. I was really hoping I could heal her. This three could go and get me another food. That way I would be, I would have three food to spend on everyone's dice and really have a good round next round. Alternatively, I can put it in the research and that would unlock the snack to give a plus one die to any crew member. No, it's just, I think it's objectively better to just go here. I can't even finish the repair, that's. Hi, all right. Well, we got our food, that'll be it. Some not good stuff is gonna happen. So there's our hull damage and everyone lost health. All right, so at the start of every round, you get to choose a side project. Um, also, we gained one of our assists back, which is great. Um, so the two here on the left, Allison and I forget his name, I, I'm going to have to learn their names. Um, all right team, let's make sure we're getting all this work done safely. No sense putting ourselves in even more danger. So what that would do is increase stress because of the higher workload, but gain two assists to put us up to three. We would be able to avoid three hazards this round. Other than that, we're all going to die if I don't get if I don't do this. I have to go outside of the ship and patch the problems from the outside. It's crazy, but I have to uh, to repair a hull, but put the put the the crew's health in jeopardy. 
Oh, there they are at the bottom. Okay, so we've got Alison and Kayla, um, and Pakal and and Jean, John. I'm just gonna call him Jean. Um, so they're they're currently quite healthy. If I chose this option, see, it even shows you there that they would they would drop low, but they they've still got a little bit of health behind them. Plus, the hull would repair one. But I'm leaning towards this one because of the assists. Probably a good idea. It seems like a pretty nice game, says the attacker. Absolutely. Um, it's one of those games where it looks quite simple, but the, the trickiness and the strategy come from the way you play the game. Sort of like chess, you know? Uh, I wonder how many rules there are in chess, right? There's probably only 10 rules, but the complexity of the game comes from, you know, what you choose to do, how you choose to do it, and when you choose to do it. All right, I'm gonna give these guys a bit of stress and choose the assists. Three assists in the same round is fantastic. Right, so we have three food, which is actually quite a lot. You run out of this stuff so quickly. Um, Pakal and Kayla have quite low dice at the moment. If they enter a room to repair something, they would only be able to roll one dice at a time, which is pretty crappy. So I'm going to spend some food on Pakal. Okay, so it restores three dice, okay. Uh, and Kayla. And it's not optimal to waste a food feeding either of these guys, and I'm pretty sure that three dice or more is usually all right, considering Allison's the specialist anyway, so I'm fine with that. Lock it in. All right, we've got scattered supplies in the life support, and an EATCS fail, whatever that is, in the maintenance room. <laughs> so I have four hazards I need to correct on the ship. Uh, destruction imminent, impending damage, two of two. I need to get some things repaired. And at the moment, what is causing that to be a problem are these rooms furthest from my crew members, which sucks a BOD. Hey, Avalanche, welcome in. I like how you put the food directly into their mouths. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> eat it. It's good for you. Uh, <laughs> how you going, dude? Um, all right. Well, I ought to get this finished because, for example, if I were to move Allison two rooms away, bam, she's like dead. Even one room away for her would be just catastrophic. So this... This room here absolutely needs to be the priority. If I use the captain first, Jean Alo, I could potentially fix the system and one of his other two dice might be a five or higher and I could give everyone else an extra dice and I think that's really important because there's a lot here to repair. So I'm gonna do that. We'll deploy uh, Captain Jean first. Uh, one and a three are only stasis. There are different hazards. There's like injury hazards and void hazards. Void just completely removes the dice. You can't even use it for anything. And injury is exactly that. It, it causes damage to your crew. Um, but I do have three assists. That's what I gotta remember. I chose the assists for a reason. And I believe they, they remain through rounds, but they replenish at a rate of one anyway. So it's good for me to at least spend one this round. So I'm gonna do that. Let's let's roll. There's one of my assists gone on the one. Not optimal. I think I'm gonna hold this five, roll one more time, and if if I just get crappy rolls, I will roll. I will use this five to repair the system instead of give people dice. But I really want to do that. Come on. Okay, that's fine. I sort of wasted an assist there. I wonder if you can turn assists off. Because um, I was going to use the, the three and the two anyway to patch up this. Boom, repaired, event complete. So this room has finished repairing now. No longer will I suffer crew damage at the jump. And I can use this five to, and over here, I keep pointing at the screen in real time. <laughs> Obviously you can't see that. Uh, every single person in this room uh, is going to get an extra dice. So that is equivalent to more than one food for this dice, which is exceptional. Boom, there we go. Okay, that was, I needed that, that was good. So he can no longer move. Um, 
<sighs> I wonder if deploying. Oh no, okay, never mind. Let's have a look. Uh, injury and stasis, okay. So Pakal has five dice. Patching up the hole is probably a good idea, and the five total dice is great, because even if I rolled threes or fours, probably would be able to repair this system single-handedly and allow the other crew members to move through this room unhindered. Especially Allison, because she's nearly dead. Um, okay, let's roll. Let's do it. Not a bad roll at all. That was fantastic. That's really good, actually. So I can... Let's patch up the hull. Boom, an extra health. All that red just went away, away around the screen that I didn't even notice was there until it disappeared. Um, six and six is 12. Beautiful, that was quite efficient. Only two dice used for that repair. And the three and the four, I have empty research slots there. So, yeah, no, no use even thinking about that. Boom, okay, so now I have access to health kits and energy boost if I choose to spend my dice from the research projects. Energy boost is great. I w uh, it allows you to shuffle the research like I think one time or like three times or something. Um, haven't quite figured that out yet, but basically you get like randomized like bonuses that you can spend these research dice on. So if you manage to, you know, get six in a row and there's a really good one for six, it'll be like game changing. Plus one health to all crew members. I can use that in a pinch. Um, so do I want Allison to go in first? Let's have a look at the moisture room. Two hazards, a repair of 11. She's got four dice and three rerolls. And increase the amount of assists used to prevent hazards when rolling. Okay, so I can gain assists from this room. I think it's good, otherwise, where am I going, to the EATSC fail or whatever. So there is a void hazard in here, 15 points of repair I need, um, less risky to, to fix the whatever it is, laboratory, let's do that. First glance you thought this was FTL Remastered. Um, I've been saying all morning this game is like FTL and I love FTL to bits. Um, you might have missed my story, sad story. Um, I was playing FTL a few months ago and the power went out and when I loaded, the save had corrupted. So I still had all my achievements and trophies and things and all the ships unlocked, I think. But for whatever reason, I couldn't access anything. I, it was as though my save file had wiped and started from like level one again. So I could only use the Kestrel and the NG ship. So I was mega disappointed and devastated. Basically all of my progress had like gone to waste. So I sadly put, I shelved FTL and I haven't played it since because I'm salty. But this game is giving me huge FTL vibes and I'm super keen to play through it some more. Big props to Tom as well, by the way, uh, in case you weren't here. Tom um, gifted me this game because I won the <laughs> Nerds of the West game show last Saturday because I'm the best. So thank you so much, Tom, for that. Um, all right, let's 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 head into this room and fix the excessive moisture buildup. Okay, not so great that I rolled ones on basically everything. I'm just gonna do that. See, a two would go nicely into the research projects. I'm gonna re-roll and see what I get. Basically now, because I have no assists, anything, any twos or threes I roll are gonna get stasis locked anyway. So I can just spend them elsewhere. Okay, so three is gone. What I could do, and this three is kind of useless to me. I could use it to, Nah, there's really nothing I can do with that three, is there? Alternatively, suppose I wanted to earn an assist. I could spend either the five or the six, use the other of the five or the six to 
Oh, there'll be no point anyway. All right, let's just let's just cut our losses and get what we can get. So repair completely. Earn an assist. Oh, three assists actually. I didn't even realize. Crap, that's good. That is really good. That void hazard in the other room is gonna ruin me without those. And the three, I it's just a waste. <laughs> Can't really go anywhere. So yeah, leave module. Okay. Three rooms repaired by three crew members. That was a really fantastic turn. All I need to do is fix the EATCS fail. Uh, and Kayla Jones has five dice, actually. I was going to send her in with Allison if that didn't repair so that she might be able to heal Allison. But considering that I probably won't do that anymore, I should probably use some research to heal Allison with the health kits and all the rest of the crew members for that matter to maximize its output. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay, what else have we got? Hack for one, plus one assist. Not bad. That will come in handy. All right, let's send Kayla into the, um, whatever this is, the maintenance room. <laughs> I don't know the names of the rooms yet, guys. <laughs> Ooh, a message from Quirky Maple, hi. How are you, uh, Quirky Maple? I don't know if I should use your real name or not, but <laughs> how are you going? You've played Tharsis, I imagine. Probably played it the other day. I couldn't remember who was it. Um, Bree and Lockie and Reese, I think, the other day played with Tom, but I'm not sure if Becky were there or not. So, all right, let's get rolling. Five dice feels so good. I'm not sure what that's doing there. Some Beyblade action. I nearly rolled a freaking Yahtzee with that. <laughs> it was so good. Yes. I can maximize the output here. Okay, equal, equal, equal. Hull repair. I can repair like three points of hull. Okay, this is going to do a hull damage. So it's worth a dice anyway from, from that slot in particular. If I spend 6... 12, sorry, yeah, 6, 12, 18, or, or even the 4, 6, 12, 16, to just repair it, probably worth it, then it won't be a problem later on in the run. Okay, all four rooms repaired in one round, that was fantastic. So I have a choice, I can either heal it, oh wait, it would only heal her, wouldn't it, because she's in the same room, okay. So it's probably best now, Rather than wasting a six for the research project, I could put them into hull repair and get the two hull repair, right? That is looking good. That is looking very good. I'm really pleased with that round. Okay, impending damage. Let's go! I let my fear get the better of me, but the others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. Sorry. I think we might actually have a chance. Some pretty cryptic cutscenes. Um, I believe either just as per usual or maybe just with this mission, the cutscenes, like the story remains the same. The idea being that since the pantry is blown up, you're low on food and everyone's morale is really low. Uh, and then some, some stuff happens later, which I won't spoil. We have a decision to make. All right, chat, I need your help. I need your help. Um, <laughs> Pog. That was a pretty Pog round, Avalanche. Chat, I need your help. Help me make a decision. I swear that it feels like my leg is about to fall off. All of you look just as bad as I feel. We need some extra treatment and bad. Um, plus one health for all crew members, which would be pretty good, but minus one dice for, uh, for Kayla and Allison. Or, focus people, we've got to get these food stores stocked so that we can get our asses back to work. Um, which would... I'm not sure what that is. Not chosen 10 stress for... A... Okay, all right. So if I don't choose this option, then uh, Pakal and Jean will gain 10 stress. But if I do choose it, we lose two hull points and some food. Now that last roll with the four sixes was pretty pog and I did manage to gain two hull from that single roll. So if I choose this option, keep everyone's stress levels low and gain food, I currently have no damaged systems. So the hull is probably in a safe shape for this round. However, everyone's looking quite they could be looking healthier, is what I'm trying to say. 
Minus one dice doesn't feel good though. I think I'm gonna choose um, Pakal and Jean's option based on based on that. What do you reckon, chat? Lose a dice, heal people. Yeah, okay, that is better. Well, now I'm thinking about it because minus two hull, like I'm at five hull currently, which is fantastic. That means like four systems could be like online for one damage each and I could still survive online rather offline. But if like the thing is, if I choose this option, let's look at the stress levels down here next to their names. They, they improve by, well, they, I guess, get worse by 10% which currently is not too bad for those two. I think I can deal with that. Everyone would gain hit points and lose, uh, and these two would lose a dice. But I do have one food. What do you reckon, Beck? Avalanche chooses the food, Velvet Otter chooses the food, Quirky Maple chooses the food. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you guys here. Minus two hull. Let's let's see if we can get the engineer to patch up that hull to make up for it. Let's go. So now that I have two food, I'm not gonna waste it now. So we have that in reserve because they heal three dice each and I'm not willing to waste it only healing two because like there's a maximum. So it's not optimal. So I'm gonna just leave it how it is. I have three assists, which is brilliant. Uh, and maybe there's like a research thing, the snack, which I, I haven't, um, grabbed yet okay three rooms have gone offline you can tell how many rooms will go offline because of those triangles there so far we'll have a system fail in the food room if nothing happens greenhouse rather we'll have two damage coming from the TPS report um, and one damage from the oxygen regulator fail if we don't choose to heal those. Nine and nine is not too bad. I think one crew member per room could fix the nine and nine, but I wanna be using my crew members who have the best chance of fixing the TPS report in the laboratory to, to get that done, because that's 27 and it's worth two impending damage. Maybe I ought to go for that first. If I don't want these two to suffer any damage, I would have to get them to fix the room that they are currently in, so there's no choice, there's no mix and matching there. Doctor Specialist. She gets plus one reroll. What's in this room? What hazards do we have? We have an injury hazard and a stasis hazard, and I have three assists, remember. Hmm, Specialist might die. Good point. She's not looking so good, is she? Suppose I kept the specialist in this room and the assists helped her not die to the injury hazard. I could then send my doctor in, right? And if I manage to to bust this, this baby down to zero repair and have a dice left over, I could heal both her and Allison. Let's try it first, because if Allison moves at all, she lose his, loses health anyway. And if she moves over here, it's just drastically worse. So since she's already in the in this room, let's deploy her here. She has three dice and three rerolls with full assists. Okay, we'll, we'll do it and see what happens. Okay. Good thing we prevented that. Um, I'll keep the five, see what else we can roll. We need some high numbers, boys. Come on, six. Yes, it stayed. A five and a six. If I re-roll again and screw it up, I do have an assist to help. That would put Doctor in jeopardy of falling to the same fate. Currently, I'm 13 out of 27 which is not gonna cut it if Doctor is gonna fix completely. Let's roll again. I figure that it's one in six of getting the, it doesn't matter anyway because of the assist. So there's a two thirds chance that I don't waste the last assist. Okay, that was much better. 
16 repair to the 27 would bring it down to 11, which gives my doctor a chance at least. So let's do that. Let's completely repair with all of these high rolls. Okay, looking much better. Plus two hull damage is way worth it to spend my resources fixing. All right, Kayla has four dice. Potentially she could fix the TPS report. Thermal protection system, apparently. That's what it is. <laughs> and maybe have a dice left over for healing which would be just phenomenal i do have my one assist remember let's do it come on come on boy okay not great not great but i didn't waste an assist that's okay i really want to keep these fours i know it i know i could probably roll them and maybe get fives or higher for the bonuses but at this point, I really just want to repair the room to prevent this hull damage. Allison still has two hit points. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a six. If I roll again and get a three, I'll regret it. If I roll again and get a number which is three or higher, I can not only repair the system, but I can also heal Kayla and Allison. There's no drawback to rolling a one or a two besides not being able to optimize my play because stasis doesn't matter at this point. Actually, never mind. I can't even roll again. I was used to, to Allison's reroll. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, we do have a choice. We have a choice to make. If I completely repair the system, I wouldn't be able to heal. But I think that's way more important considering it's two hull damage. So the four and the four and the two wouldn't do it. I have to spend the six. Then I have to spend a four. And with my remaining dice, I could help research a project. And I think that a four is better to use in the research because it's higher. And I, I would want to use a four down the line to repair things much more than I would want a two. So if I fill the four spot, use this to repair. And I didn't heal anyone, but it's okay. I prevented this damage and that's what is important. I do now have access to the hack for an extra assist. So I haven't even looked at these rooms yet. Maybe something really bad is in there. Let's check with Pakal first in the whatever room this is. The the air regulator over voltage safety has failed. And not only that, but all of the electrons have been delocalized in the Schmogelslov machine. So this is looking bad. We have an injury hazard, a stasis hazard, and a repair of nine. Now Pakal has four dice. He can regain dice in this room. I would basically have to roll like, you know, a, a four and a five, no, not a four, a double six to repair, and then like double ones to like maximize. But that's not even really worth it either. I can patch up the hole with him. It's probably worth trying that anyway. What do we got? Okay, that was painful. See that blood there? That meant that he lost a health because of the injury. For a second, for one second, I thought the injury was on three, like in the other room just before. And I was looking at these three dice and going, ah. <laughs> Do I want to reroll? Thing is, the injury is such a bad hazard to happen. Picard's not looking too happy over there. If I just leave it how it is, I can repair with a four, a three, and a three, and use the three in the research project. That's safer, plus that unlocks a snack. I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, event completed. Let's put that in there and be done with it. Now, last but not least, Jean, I'm gonna deploy in the food room. Sixes are void, so we can't get sixes on this on this level. I could spend one of these dice for a hack. That way, if I do roll a six, I could use it 
despite the void hazard because the assist will cancel it. I think it's worth it spending one of these, like a four or a three that I previously rolled to make a six valid. Okay. What's this one? Repair seven in one module for two dice. Not too bad. That's actually not too bad. That's like the average three or four. So let's roll. Let's see if we roll a six. No, we didn't. Okay, we've got exactly enough to repair. What are the odds that if I roll again, I can't repair this? So what am I, I'm playing to my outs. I just bought an assist to try and roll really high. That way I could spend two dice instead of three repairing and hopefully be lucky enough to roll something to give him an extra dice back. That's, it doesn't really seem worth it. The assists persist over levels. I'm just gonna spend these dice now. Repair the system. Everything is fine in Hunky Dory. The ship is in good shape. And we'll see what happens. I've checked our food stores and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. Um, Quirky Maple, I I don't think Chatbot is working. I have it open and all that. Um, only problem is a, I've never been able to get it to work because I'm an idiot. And B, um, I furiously messaged Tom this morning and was like, Tom, give me the launch codes. And he just I, either was asleep or away or whatever. So I, I couldn't actually log into <laughs> the, the account. But it's K. Also, don't type any passwords in chat to like get them to me because obviously <laughs> thought I'd just mention that. Choose a side project. Here we go. Good thing the med lab has plenty of stimulants. Let's do it. Plus one dice for both of Kayla and Allison, but minus two hull. Yoy, no thank you. I swear that it feels like my leg is about to fall off. All of you look just as bad as I feel. We need some extra treatment and bad. Pretty sure we've already had this quandary, but <laughs> alas, space is a cruel mistress. Plus one health for all crew members. And minus one dice for both of Pakal and Jean. You know what? Jean's a captain. And I have food. That's the thing. I have two foods stored up, which I've done really well to, to gain. I could probably go for this option. Heal everyone. What do you think, chat? If I chose this option, gave everyone a minus one dice. No, not everyone, actually. Only, yeah. Um, that doesn't seem as bad as suffering two hull damage. Odds are this this round is going to have like two or three rooms that just become broken. And if I, for whatever reason, can't fix them, I'm almost assuredly going to explode and die. But giving Allison and Kayla an extra dice while keeping the dice on Jean and Pakal is an option which essentially nets me four dice. Four dice is worth, let's say, 1.33 food blocks. Whereas the other option to heal everyone could be done by my medic, but I think I've for too long had Allison on really low health. <laughs> Explode and die is the option Avalanche chose, you know. I value your input, but I don't want to do that. Sorry. Heal, says the attacker. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just the whole damage I don't want to suffer. I think healing is probably correct. All right, let's do that. Boom. Everyone's looking much better. Jean's on full hit points. Um, there was a graphic for this in the tutorial, which was like super cool, like a cutscene rather. Um, basically your, your other crew member who was like really injured. Um, the idea is that if you resort to cannibalism, you can actually feed your crew, but you lose overall maximum health and you, you gain like stress or something. It's like really bad. 
It reminds me of that like plane crash incident like years and years ago with the I think it was like a football team or something. Um, yeah, probably not too good of an idea to go into that. So I do have actual food. I think the captain is way better. The captain can replenish dice to others, but he needs to spend his own dice to do that anyway. So let's definitely feed Gene. He's looking happier now. Everyone's stress levels are quite high. I could maximize Allison's potential since she can reroll twice instead of just once and give her food. That would leave Pakal the mechanic with low dice. Probably worth it. I have there's a room that can that can heal the hull. Plus if I just don't suffer any damage, my hull is essentially at plus three hit points anyway. And I'm not gonna resort to cannibalism. Not yet. Okay, two rooms have been hit. Next week two rooms will be hit too. Real bad. Um oi, oi, oi. cannibalism. Can you stop being the devil's advocate for like 10 seconds? We have a leak warning in the food room. And we have a waste fail in the life support. So let's have a look. Let's diagnose this problem. Two really bad hazards. I could maybe get some extra food if I devote some, some peeps in here. So it's probably a good idea to repair this room anyway alternatively what's going on in there Pakal? give me a system update not too bad repair 13 Pakal definitely won't be able to do that by himself he would absolutely need help so maybe it's better to get that done first the captain sadly is in the room I want to fix if I send Kayla in here which room is this again the life support that can replenish dice if i send kayla in to help pakal she might be able to heal them or regain dice but really i would want to just repair the system that would give pakal an opportunity to walk in here without suffering damage and allison and yeah, it's not. Uh... Kayla can fix this room. Then Allison can run through and hopefully fix this room in one go without suffering any movement damage. That would give the captain an opportunity to run in here and replenish three crew members' dice at any at the same time. And then maybe Pakal can like gain hull repair or something. Like spend his turn not having to repair things, but actually using the subsystems. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Um, what do I have down here? Nothing. I can't research anything. <laughs> All right, screw it. We're doing it live. Come on, high rolls. Okay, there goes one of my assists. Not bad. I might even be able to just repair it straight away if I just hold those two dice maybe I could roll something higher than a three at the moment I can't fully repair this and I would have to waste some other crew members repair anyway and I really want this fixed so that um, Allison can run through the room I really want to just roll this again and get a four or higher you only live once oh well <laughs> there you go Oh boy, that was not good. Actually, I can use the special tools because of that. Seven plus five is 12 plus four. That would repair the room. I would have to spend all my research points. That ultimately works with the plan I was having with moving Allison through unhindered. I think I'm just going to do it. Boom. Okay. Shame it's not an optimal use of these dice, but hey, you can't have everything. Boom. Done. Good job, Kayla. 
Okay. Now, like I said, Allison can move through this room uninjured. She's got five dice and three rerolls. She is at peak performance. Hopefully she can fix the greenhouse. That would let my captain move into the life support room and replenish everyone's dice uh, and regain dice of his own, maybe. And then Pakal can do so. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, let's deploy there. Injury and void, no assists left, nothing I can do. It's unavoidable. I don't want to look. Oh, no! But it's not too bad because the six and a four and a four is really good, but still it's not completely fixed. Let's hold that. I have two re-rolls. I'm risking injury and just losing dice anyway. I really want my captain to be able to move through. Alternatively, I can forego the captain's duties. I think it's way safer to just play it like this, just to use this relatively high roll, repair all the way down to one, and get Captain Jean to finish the job while perhaps harvesting food, which is also pretty nice. But he could also replenish dice just between these two, which isn't too bad. I think I'll do that, I'll play it safe. Okay. So Pakal, otherwise, I guess Pakal maybe? I could send him in. What do you reckon, chat? <laughs> I'm concerned that, that things you're excited about. Velvet Otter, I just went to get a copper uh, and we were eating the crew members now. Yeah, <laughs> Avalanche has been, has been a, a pretty naughty boy in chat. But it's alright, because he wasn't pulling this out of his ass. Cannibalism is indeed an option in this game, so it <laughs> was a suggestion. Uh, to move Pakal first, or to move our captain. If I move Pakal, the captain can remain, hopefully replenish some food, and maybe restore dice to my whole crew. So that would probably be a way better idea. And if I fix this, which I most assuredly will, the damage would be reduced to zero, so it's essentially gaining two hull points as well. Let's do that. Let's just hope that Pakal doesn't roll two threes or something. Come on. That's not good. I can still use the three. That's the thing about injury. Okay. Well, let's use the three. I could put the four into harvest food to help the captain harvest food, or I could put it into research. Amphetamine prevents injury from walking. Snack is a plus one die. They don't, they don't look too good. They don't look that interesting, the research projects. Guess I could shuffle. How do I shuffle? Oh, I can't. I guess I have to spend a dice. No. Alright, I guess I just can't shuffle. Um, let's do that. Now, Captain Jean. See the four still there? It carries over. Um. <laughs> All right, two sixes is fantastic. And now the hazards are gone. I, you know, there's, there was no reason not to roll some really. I wonder if I could just put two sixes in there. Would it like work or would I just get the two? <laughs> I wonder if you could do that, put a dud dice. No, it has to be equal, right? It has to be four, four and four. Okay, so that was useless. I could just restore some dice now by doing that. to all three crew members. That's like having a food anyway, right? It's just split among the three crew members. Boom. The six is great. I could even just use the six in the research because I, I would never otherwise want to waste a six because I would want to use it to repair. So this is a rare opportunity where I can fill the six slot. 
a one and a two, that would put me on three research points. I could give... Yeah, that's kind of like a food. I'm gonna do that. It's just way better. Boom. Okay. Done. Finished deployment. Ooh, Nelly. question are there aliens on Mars uh, there's a one next to the shuffle I think it costs one research point to shuffle that's a good point I did not think about that so I could always spend a dice and shuffle the research projects and get three new ones it reminds me very much of a board game I reckon this game would translate very well into a board game Either that or it already is a board game and this game is based on the board game and I'm just completely devoid of information about it. Um, Alright, we have a choice to make chat. We're all a mess. We need to perk up. Just look at us. A bunch of droopy-eyed, overpaid losers who can't turn a wrench to save our lives. Um, if not chosen, 10 stress and minus 2... Uh, sorry, and if, it, if you do choose it, minus 2 health for both of those two, which would pretty much put them on death's door but one dice for all crew which is not optimal at the moment because Allison already has five otherwise 30 stress for both of these guys but we gain a food everyone is going to get stressed if I choose option two I would gain a food that's not not particularly helpful I could use it this round and put Pakal up to full usage Choosing this option would put no stress on anyone, but Kayla and Allison would be toast. <laughs> oh, look at that. So the three dice for each of Kayla, Pakal, and Jean is actually like a food distributed among them. So imagine if instead of plus one dice for all crew, it said plus one food. So the choice then cancelling the food on both sides would be either minus two health for those two or like 30% stress for two of my crew members and 10% stress for the other two remembering that 10% stress for not chosen so do I want health or stress to be a problem is basically the call I don't know chat what do I do the hole is good we have an assist we don't have any food currently, but the dice isn't looking too bad. I should stop referring to them as dice. I should call it like energy or something. Like each crew member has some pretty good energy right now. Like they don't need food desperately to function. Allison's at full. Gene's looking pretty good. Plus he can use his dice to replenish everyone's energy anyway. But if I chose the second option, look at the stress levels. Everyone's stress would be like really high. I'd have to waste some turns sending crew members into like the de-stress room, whatever it's called. This is a tough choice. This is a very tough choice. I'm looking at this one only because keeping the stress low would give these two an opportunity to head like to the med bay or for Kayla to just heal them anyway. And then I would have a quantifiable, okay, this person has this much health left, they're gonna die if I don't do that. Whereas stress is something you can, I'm pretty sure, only cure with side projects and the, um, uh, the whatever it's called, the <laughs> therapy room or something. It's so difficult. I think I'm gonna go, there's only one thing to do, open the pod bay doors, Hal. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that, Velva daughter. <laughs> um, yeah, not gonna do that, not gonna resort to cannibalism. These are all wonderful suggestions, but this crew has an absolute no jettison crew members into space policy, and I'm sticking by it. Right, I'm going to keep everyone stressed down and go low with Allison and Kayla. 
<laughs> I don't want to. Oh, that's not looking good. Jean is over there, full health, low stress, full energy. He's he is happy as Larry. The rest of his crew, on the other hand, are not doing too well. He's the worst captain ever. He's like Tom in Tortuga. All right. No use resorting to cannibalism. Everyone's looking pretty energized. Let's go. What do we got? A comms fail and a cool Chris Club leak in the food room. Everyone is currently nearby. What's in here? We've got triple injury if you roll a one. If Allison rolls a one, which she has five dice and three re-rolls, sorry, three rolls. So odds are she's gonna roll a one and die instantly. Anyone else who rolls a one is gonna be really hurt, but not terribly hurt. I could use Captain Jean to risk repairing the chemical control canister leak. Because he has the highest hit points, plus he's got full capacity on his energy, his dice. There's a good chance I could probably repair the system with just Gene alone. That way, I could move Kayla into that room and heal everyone by a hit point. Even Gene, after he suffers damage from the injury hazard, then the other two, Allison and Pakal, might be able to head into the com for, com, whatever, whatever this room is, the operations room, and reduce stress, which is like the one thing I wanted to, to keep low. Next round is going to be beefy bad. It's like two red events and an orange event. So I really want to get everything fixed before I move on. Let's let's make Captain Jean deploy in this room. Do the best he can. Come on, Captain, it's time for you to actually help the team here. Ooh, that rolled to a three. I thought it was going to be a one. <laughs> yes, not bad, not bad. I got 23 points. Repair is 16, no injuries. That was actually really good. And I could even spend a six to... Hang on, 6, 12, 17. I could harvest some food, actually, rather than gaining everyone a dice. Allison's already maxed out on dice. Maybe it's worth just gaining a food for that reason. So if I spent the 6, the 6 to 12, the 5 to 17 to repair, that's pretty optimal, actually. Event complete. Okay. I could gain a food in here. Since I want to send the doctor in here anyway, she has a good chance of A, rolling five or higher to heal everyone, and B, rolling another three to gain the extra food. Done. Finished deployment. That was really successful. Okay. While everyone's in the same room, we'll send Dr. Kayla in. She's got three dice. Not bad. There's a good chance I could roll a three here, surely. And there's no hazards or anything. There's no reason not to... To roll as best I can. Okay, there's a there's a six. I'm gonna just do that now. Heal everyone. Okay, fantastic. That was worth more than more than a food. All right, one more roll for a three. It's a free roll. Might as well. Never mind. Six is useless. The five can go into the research projects, and that will be the end of that. It's pronounced Sean. Pretty sure Jean is a woman. Um. Did I pronounce Gene is a is a guy? I've probably been saying he's a she's a guy for the longest time. I'm not so good with this thing. I'm really sorry if I if I offended anyone. Allison, I'm pretty sure is female. Everyone in this game, like astronauts are required to be like either really short haired or bald. So like you can't have the like well Pakal has a beard, I guess. Like, he's got facial hair, so... Alright, we've exhausted Jean and Kayla. Or Sean, rather, as Av Avalanche, the devil's advocate, is saying. Up until now, Avalanche, your track record has been 
kill the crew members and eat them. <laughs> so <laughs> not going to listen to you on that one. Allison's low on health. What was in here again? Were there any injury hazards? No, there weren't any injury hazards, so she's safe. She has a really high energy. And I might be able to make it so that this room is available for Pakal to reduce his stress. Or even I could just use Pakal elsewhere to gain the benefits of a different room. If I'm going to do that, maybe I should send Pakal in. I have a snack available to like boost his his dice to help him fix the operations room and then Allison with her five dice can go elsewhere and try and gain like fix the hull or increase my assists or something you know no movement damage okay let's do that let's send Pakal in I'm gonna use yeah, see, amphetamines is... I don't think that's really good. Like, it's probably really good and I'm just a noob and I don't know what it does or how to use it. But preventing injury from movement... I so far haven't suffered any movement injuries because of the way I've played. And an energy boost is kind of just like a snack, except non-optimal in this situation. So I think I'm just going to use the snack. And that frees up the one of the two. We've still got our really valuable fives and sixes slotted in there. So let's give a roll with four dice instead to try and repair this room. Okay, well, our assist helped the one there. The six and the six is great. I might as well, there's no reason not to roll this one again. And I really just want to, to repair that, right? That's really only the, the only place where that can go. So let's just roll this one again. What do we got? A three, brilliant, I can repair this. Um, yeah, it's just worth it. Six. Oh, actually, never mind. I did the math wrong. Well, I'll do that anyway, and then we'll put that in the research. I did. I got it. I got it. Okay, now that that's gone, we have Allison available to move into any room of my choice. Shall I fix the hull? I feel like if I fix the hull as much as I can with hull repair, otherwise I could try and harvest food because I already have two dice in the in the food slot there. Like if I just quote unquote waste her dice, right, trying to harvest food, then I would have like two for the next round. But since I have one, the rest of my crew aren't doing too bad on dice right now. It's, it's a shame to waste those rolls, but maybe it's better to just... I don't know what the difference between food and regaining dice is. Like, regaining dice, sure, like, kind of does exactly the same thing. Oh, but it's like, you can get up to four dice back. That's, like, way better than food, see, but you can't store it. Okay, I understand that now. Otherwise, that's useless, no movement damage. That's kind of what amphetamine does, right? Oh, oh okay, that's way better than I thought it was. So you can't get injured from, like, the injury hazard or anything. That's actually really good. Well, I do have three research points, so I'm saving towards that. Hull repair, probably looking good right now. Nothing else except for maybe health recovery, which you can only get one of with a five or higher. I'm thinking hull repair is most optimal. That way, Allison will be down this end of the ship. So if something breaks in between, I would have to like use her last to avoid injury. All right, we're doing it. We are doing it, doing it live. Stress do, good question. I don't know what stress does. I believe if your stress maxes out, which you don't want to happen, um, that your crew starts like going crazy and they like don't assist you in, in fixing stuff. That's a good point actually. Allison is quite stressed. I could send it to the operations room with Pakal and decrease stress for the active crew member by 60%, which would be most of her stress bar. Alternatively, it's hard. 
It is really hard. Hull is only three. She has so many dice, that's the thing. If she rolls like three equal dice, which is likely with all the rerolls she has, we'll repair three hull points. I'm gonna do it and we'll worry about stress in a moment. Maybe there'll be an event which reduces stress. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just pick either ones or twos and try and get a Yahtzee. <laughs> I'll go with ones. So there's the whole repair by two. Fantastic. Let's just roll again. She's got one more reroll after this anyway. That was incredibly unlucky for me. <laughs> All right, give me a one. Come on. You always do it when I need high numbers. All right, never mind. Well, that was worth it. I can't even use those. Damn. I still think it was worth it to get two hull points. That suit, it's designed for the Ectomi. Nobody has them but us. So who are they? And where did they get them? Good question. All right, we have another decision to make, chat. You think you have it so bad, but I need this. I can't sleep, I can't focus. I can't take a piss without even being distracted by the pain. Plus one health for both Kayla and Allison, but minus one hull. Option two. Everyone better chip in to make more food or we're gonna starve. I don't care if we have to work everyone to the bone. It must be done to gain food. Both of these options give 10% stress for whomever you don't choose. Currently, Kayla and Allison have the highest stress, I think. So keeping their stress from going overboard is probably all right. The fact that they gain health is nice too, and we just gained two hull by using Allison for a freebie. That's looking really appetizing. Over here, the food and minus one dice for all crew is actually just way too debilitating. Food gains three dice for a single crew member, and then you're losing four across the board. So that would be all right if say I had like three crew members with one dice left, then the downside would be mitigated. But I honestly think this is just the way better option in terms of stress and in terms of, of health. Um, stress determines what you draw at the beginning of each round, according to the internet. What I draw at the beginning of each round, okay. So if the stress is high, then these will be bad, I guess. The side projects you mean. Like, if I keep stress low, the side projects might be, like, way better. <laughs> I don't know what, uh... Yes, he said, a confirmation. Okay, that's interesting to know. That's why so many of these are you know, spiralling out of control with the stress for the one if it's not chosen and there's discord between the crew members. Okay, food. Do we give Kayla Jones some food? Probably. It's optimal. And I anticipate not being able to use Jean's activated ability to replenish people's dice this game, this round. Alternatively, uh, no, I think it's worth it. More dice is just simply better in terms of your odds of, of finishing a project. Waste material in the med bay, we've got a uh, S-G-A-N-T fail in the operations and a propellant fire in flight control. Oh shit. Minus two health for all with that and the other two are destruction imminent levels of impending hull damage. Right, not good. Allison is currently really close by to the waste material problem in, in the med bay. And even if she were to try and move through, she would suffer damage. So I think it's just a no-brainer to send her in first. Good chance she'll be able to fix this single-handedly, and I can take it from there. Injury and stasis. I have an assist. I think the one will be assisted first. So... And we are in the med bay, I guess, if we suffer too much damage. Let's do it. Okay, the one got prevented. Nice. Stasis lock on three. We have 15 of 16 repair points. 
any of these 17 repair for one module if we if we use an mcc override i'll tell you what i could do i could spend this one get the fourth research point use the mcc override to repair this entire module by 17 which would do it completely then i would have a six and a five to help fill out the research and use a health recovery to even to heal allison that would just be incredibly optimal the only downside to that would be I would be on like two research points with the three as well, which I don't see as really that bad. Oh, that feels good. Quick patch plus one hole. Nice. I could even do that like right now. Um, so let's put the six in there. Let's use the five to recover some health. Boom. Nice. To full. Okay, so it even did it all the way up. And the three, I guess, has nowhere else to go. That's a cool particle effect. Look at that. <laughs> Yay! Alright, I'll stop pissing around now. Optimal strats incorporated. Feed her her crewmates. Brayden! I have no words, dude. I thought you were... I thought you went like this, man. All right, Pascal is currently experiencing a Sagant fail, Steven Sagant, in a room which is devoid of, of life. Space to ground antenna disrupted. Okay, so we've lost comms with ground control. <laughs> Major Tom is having a bad time. And furthermore, he only has three dice and he has to roll 18, so triple six would do it, but odds of that happening, not likely. He's going to need help. It just depends. That'll be two hull damage if it's not fixed. It just depends on what's in here, because if I fix this with one crew member, I can send the other in to help Pakal. What do you got to say about it, Doc? Three different kinds of hazards and a repair of 24. Should have saved my research project for that, I guess. I always have the, the quick hull patch, just in case. Whereas this problem is going to do two health to all crew members, which is not what I want. So it's probably more important to fix the propellant fire first. <laughs> Captain. I guess I... yeah, let's do it in this order. Captain's at full health, so if I send the dock in first, let's roll. That was tragically bad. That was tragically bad. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> um, I could hold the six. Six isn't going to be useful there. I could give her health or no movement damage. I wonder what no movement damage would do for me. Sadly, I don't think I can check my ship in the middle of a command. But Captain, what's his name, can hopefully finish off the repair and Pakal could just work on the room he's in. So it's probably best I just try and repair this as much as I can. Should I keep the four? Maybe if I roll anything like if I roll another injury, that's really bad But any other dice is kind of a freebie because either I lose it and I wasn't gonna repair it anyway Otherwise, I just roll something higher than a one and repair even more Like a two. Oh, well, I guess that's my option then so let's Or I could just put it in the research project it's so low. Then again, I'm going to need all the help I can get fixing this. We're halfway at the moment with the 6, 4, and the 2. 6, I know, is going in there. 4, probably too good to pass up on the repair. And 2, old mate Captain Digbutt has 4 dice as well, so probably best to maximise his odds of repairing the system. Alright, Captain Gene. Deploy, help your friend, and pr maybe don't get injured. 
Yeah, let's roll. Not good. Damage. But we have secured the repair. A five and a five and a two. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Minus two health to everyone if we don't complete this is just the worst. And we can put the one in the research, which gives us access, access to energy boost. Lastly, Pakal, I suppose it's best you just deploy in here, otherwise you would suffer damage anyway. Yeah, odds are we're suffering some hull damage this turn. Let's get a quick patch. Put the hull up. Repair arm, that's a really good one. I don't want to shuffle, Just I was going to use this to shuffle just because of that, but now I think these are some pretty good options for me. Really powerful ones, so I can just save up some Thing is, my dice are all going to get eaten away by this void. So if I roll like triple six, I'll be over the moon. But anything else might as well just go into the five and the four slot, or maybe be used to just reduce stress or something. You know, I'm not going to repair this subsystem. I can guarantee. Yeah, I see. So to patch the hull, to help with the repair, or to reduce stress. Pakal's stress is actually quite high. Did that do anything? I don't think... Oh wait, maybe it was like full and... No. Decrease stress for the active crew member by 60%. I thought that would just like reduce his stress, right? Why? Yeah, I guess it... I looked at it wrong. Or maybe it only works when it's online. Oh no, it has updated. Aliens. Aliens. Think about the six two. Yeah. Alright, chat. Our stress levels are high and apparently that makes this really bad. So what are we gonna choose? I don't mean to keep bugging everyone about this, but food is running low and people are getting hungry. So we can gain food and just stress Kayla and Allison directly to the maximum. Or Will you shut those alarms off? I can't work when they're blaring in my ear and I can't remember who what the hell I'm supposed to be doing to replenish everyone's dice by plus one, but uh, minus one health for everyone. <sighs> That's an appetizing option, but it will cause stress for Kayla and Allison if I choose it. Kayla, as you can see, is like just under maximum stress if I choose that option. If I chose option A, then these two will be maximized in stress and it just i don't know what is a good idea what is a bad idea i really don't want their stress to be maximized let's put it that way if i chose option two everyone gets a dice back which is phenomenally efficient that's more than a food that's 1.3 food blocks minus one health for all crew if I get lucky and have Kayla heal everyone, I can, or at least two or three members at the same go, that can almost completely undo that with one dice roll. And furthermore, that would put everyone's stress levels just under the maximum. I would have to get our doctor to the therapy room, like, straight away with this strategy. Although I would need her elsewhere because of her five dice. Not good. Who needs food when there's cannibalism? Oh my god! Bread! <laughs> I'm gonna bring this up next time we have D&D. Second options benefit the more crew. Yeah. In terms of productivity on board, second option is way better. And it keeps people stress low. I'm gonna do it. Mm. 
Everyone's pretty displeased with me, actually. Cannibalism is not a favorable option here. Not even for Pakal. So let's finish this. Okay, only two things broke this round. Four weeks to Mars. Next round we have two orange uh, system breaks and a green system break. Really the worst thing at the moment is the carbon monoxide warning in the, in the cockpit. Minus one dice to all, I guess isn't that bad since we just gained a dice for everyone. Also this problem is going to have to be fixed anyway because it's like this and this are just going to destroy the ship if we don't tend to them. Ah, <sighs> Pakal, why do you suck? <laughs> I have one research point. Maybe Allison... Suppose I moved Allison out of the whatever room this is, the med bay. Ignored it for now. Suffered the, the consequences of the damage. But that way we could at least use her elsewhere to make sure the hull doesn't explode. Potentially unlock a few things research project wise. That repair arm is looking so good. I wish I, I wish I could. Stasis isn't too bad. I should check. I don't want to send her over here just in case she just loses the one health because I wanted to check for deployment. All right, Pakal, check that room for me. What are the hazards in here? That's right. Oh, that's frustrating. We have to fix this. Alternatively, we have two people in the cockpit already. We have two injury dice in a stasis, so we know that all of our dice we roll are going to contribute to the repair. There's no void hazards. The doctor is in here. So she could potentially heal herself and Captain Jean. If Captain Jean goes first... Oh god, this is tough. This is really tough. Everyone to therapy! Yeah. Send them all to therapy. Just, the ship is exploding around them and the therapy room is like, yo. It's all right, it's okay. <laughs> um, all right, Jean is probably just, not Jean. Yeah, actually Jean. Dr. Kayla should go first. That's bad. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm saving the six. I can't do much with that too. I think I'm just gonna re-roll everything. Like, getting a four and a five is still so bad. I don't have any assists left. If I just repaired with everything I have, maybe I could like re-roll the one and risk an injury. Right? I really wish that two didn't eat up my assist there. If I, re if I just dumped the three and the twos into repair, that would put us at 13 repair, leaving 10. I could re-roll the one. And if it's a four or a five, I'll suffer the consequences and so be it. But if it's a five or a six, I have options. That was a really crappy roll. But if I roll more dice, like instead of just the one dice, I rolled three, I would, I could just die instantly. What do you reckon? Throw them all in research. One and two and three could go in research. That's a really good point, actually. That's the that's the most smart thing you've said so far, Avalanche. Only because there was no cannibalism involved in, in your suggestion. One and two and three in research. I can re-roll this two and hope not to be injured. Repairing this would take two of my uh, astronauts, at least, and it would heal two impending damage. If I research with these dice currently on the screen, 
I could potentially spend one spare dice of another astronaut to repair arm and, and heal three. But this problem will persist into the next round. Oh, this is so tough. Fucking hell. What have I done? What have I done? You did well, Anakin. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Health. Do I want to spend it healing the crew? Do I want to repair and bring it down to 17? Or do I want to nurse? Ooh, actually, movement damage. That means Allison could move into the cockpit and fix this problem without suffering any damage. She has five dice left, and that would let Jean, Captain Jean... Oh, there's really no point to that, though. Oh, who's the lucky winner? Give me five seconds for the feed to catch up with what's going on. It is, in fact, <laughs> you, Avalanche. <laughs> Thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate it. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> really appreciate your support, man. And thank you for sticking around. Um, and I take back what I said. Cannibalism is looking more and more like a better option. <laughs> I gotta say. But anyway, thank you so much for the bits, dude. That's six. Indeed, this six has basically saved us. What do we want to do, man? What do we want to do? I guess... Plus one health, that heals two of us. It's way better to try and repair. The six in repair brings it to 17. Captain Jean has four dice, there's a good chance. He has four health, so the injury might not hurt him that badly. Ah, oh, gonna do it. It was tempting to get the movement thing to make Allison run in here, and that would free up Captain Jean for elsewhere, but so many of our subsystems are down anyway. Hang on, what am I looking at? Oh, there is a six in the dice hold. I freaking completely missed that. I completely missed that. To 11 is way better. Alternatively, we could get the best of both worlds. I can't believe I nearly missed that. Good thing the game reminded me. Hey, dumbass, <laughs> you got a six waiting in the dice hold. Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright, Captain Jean's gonna fix this subsystem by hook or by crook. If I spend the six healing both me and Captain Jean, then these injuries won't hurt Captain Jean so badly. This is fucking tough, man, this fucking game, I swear to god. Repair, you fool, he says. Okay, alright, Avalanche, just... your suggestion has been noted. Okay, see, every option I pick, I, I like let go of the mouse and the six goes pumping into repair and it drops to 11 and I go, oh, thank God, like I'm feeling so good about that. And then I look at the other two options and I'm like, I've messed up, I should have put it there because you can't go back now. Captain Jean, please would you fix the carbon monoxide warning in the cockpit? Dioxide rather, not monoxide. That would almost assuredly have killed us both by now. Let's roll. I have four dice. My research is looking good. If I roll a four or a five, it's gonna suck, but I can at least use them for the repair arm to bring us above lethal damage. And furthermore, there's only 11 points needed to repair to fix the subsystem anyway. Let's do it. Come on, give me sixes. That is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, the injury is fine. That was a Frickin' good roll, Avalanche, thank you for your suggestion. Down to 11 repair is like, really helping me now, really saving my bacon. So the six and the six would repair completely. The four can go into research. I don't think I wanna be greedy and re-roll the three. Unless, oh, we got some more bits from Avalanche. <laughs> sixes, sixes, dude, I'm telling you. So far, the sixes have completely saved my bacon. Thank you so much for the bits, dude. Six and the four and the three can repair completely, right? 
if I spent three dice on the repair instead of just the two, I could spend the final six to gain a benefit. Alternatively, spend the two sixes for repair, spend the four in research to grab that repair arm. That's essentially net five health to my ship. And the three I could re-roll, but it might be a wasted dice. I think it's worth it to do the research project. Boom, event completed. I wanna save the four, definitely. I almost have amphetamine as well. And hopefully this is five or higher. And it is, rewarded, rewarded for the greed. Ah, who was that magic player that top decked the lightning helix and Randy Buehler just like went off his choppers? I feel like that. All right, plus one die to the captain and to Kayla. Otherwise, I could dump it there. I don't know how useful amphetamine is going to be if I'm just going to do the repair arm anyway. I think giving us extra dice back is way worth it. Okay, that was fantastic. That was really good. Bits is for sixes. Um, what do you reckon about my strategy so far, Beck? Am I doing all right? Allison could help Pakal with this problem. The minus one dice to all, I could potentially see myself regretting. Because I have the repair arm at the ready and because I'm absolutely not going to die this turn, it might be worth s devoting Allison to fixing this error in the med bay. Thing is, Pakal is not looking so hot on fixing this problem here. The three void hazards, he would have to roll triple sixes to fix it himself. And anything that's not a one, a two, or a three can't go anywhere else. Like, if I roll a five or a six, that's really good. So one third of my rolls are great on every single dice. Because the five can go into research, or it can reduce his stress, which I've already done, so that's not great. I can repair hull with his special ability. But the repairing is really where it's at. I'm going to suffer two hull damage if this isn't repaired. I could do this guy first since I know I'm probably not moving him. Then, if I'm close to repairing, Allison can suffer a damage, run in here and fix it. I'll suffer no hull damage and everyone will just lose a dice, right? And then we can just resort to cannibalism to feed everyone, like <laughs> by the popular suggestion. I'm going to do that. Come on, triple sixes. There's so many biddies if, if that's true but it is not sadly we do have a five and a four the four isn't going anywhere except there and the five and I didn't want to re-roll the four I I don't really care about amphetamine I want it I want that re repair arm so it's useless putting the five here when I could put it there and repair an extra hull alternatively next round there's a good chance Pakal if Allison can fix the other room and prevent everyone losing dice, Pakal will have two dice left to fix a nine, which is not actually that good. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking your advice. I'm repairing. Quirky Maple says, I'm doing great. I've also never played this game, so I have no frame of reference. Oh, yeah. Um, probably a difficult thing to make a judgement on if you've never played the game. But I have only played, this is the third time I've ever played, and I'm by no means an expert. Th this game sucks you in, dude. It's a game of rolling dice, but the beautiful thing about most strategy games, in my opinion, that have that element of luck with them, is that the element of luck provides the variation which is necessary for your strategy to develop and evolve. So. What I'm talking about is, okay, take my favourite game, Magic the Gathering, which uh, Braden is obviously very familiar with the lands argument on why lands are a thing when games like Hearthstone, for instance, you have mana crystals, you know you're going to get mana, you don't have to worry about colour fixing, rah rah rah. The idea being that, <laughs> although yes, sometimes you can get mana screwed, you can get land flooded, 
the idea is that the variance is something that is a part of the game that makes the game what it is, right? If I knew I was going to hit a mountain, then an island, and cast my Goblin and Electromancer on turn two every single game, then it becomes a solved game, right? You can't make use of the variance to gain an upper hand on your opponent by playing the strategy correctly. With this game, they could have developed it in such a way that yes, there was no dice rolling, forget the dice rolling, it's all, it's purely strategy, it's purely numbers, then there, then it would be a solved game. I feel like the variance and the, the risk factor involved uh, provides you with more rewarding experiences when you succeed. Uh, and when the odds are stacked against you, you may well have to just take the ones and the twos that you've pitifully rolled and use them to repair rather than re-rolling. You know what I mean? There's much more of a breadth and depth to the game, in my opinion. Okay, so finished deployment. I've completely forgotten where we were. <laughs> okay, Alison. Do I risk her health? She's quite high. We could head in, fix the problem in this room, and minus one dice to everyone. I'm not too too keen on that idea. Kayla Jones is looking really stressed over here. Look at that. Alternatively, look, I think it is just better, right, to go in here. She'll suffer a damage. We can most likely fix the problem in this room. Suffer no hole damage. Next round, there are three rooms that need to be solved. I need to keep as many dice as I can, I think. Plus, I have the repair arm for the damage from this room not being solved. So yeah, let's let's deploy in in the med bay. I went on a big tangent there. Sorry. <laughs> How are you feeling, Avalanche, with my suggestion as to why lands matter in magic? Yikes! That is crap. <laughs> no, they're going straight in the bin. Six is going in the bin. Give me a four, please. Yeah, variants. My strategy was rewarded. Boom, repaired. Everyone's dice are rescued. We're going to suffer two hull damage, but we're fine. Uh oh. Those people. Are they us? What's happening to them? Are we seeing ourselves? <laughs> oh, that's insane. It's you What's from the future. It has to be. I haven't made it this far, by the way, so I don't know the story. I'm just guessing. I've seen, what's it called? Um, Frickin' the one where they go through the wormhole and like every 10 minutes is like frickin' 100 years or something. Isn't it just called, it's the one with Clooney and what's the name? I cannot remember a name. Anyway, it's that one. It won all these awards for being like a really realistic representation of what it would be like in space, um, which, made me upset because for whatever reason when she was like on the tether and being pulled in never mind i won't get into it <laughs> i'm salty okay we have options we have three options this time some of our crew are despondent and not holy crap this freaking option here all right let's read the options chat let's read the interstellar thank you thank you so much uh, Gravity is the one with Clooney. Okay, I guess I don't know my films then. There were like three space films in like a five year time span, which I really enjoyed. There was Interstellar, there was um, Gravity and The Martian as well, which I really, really enjoyed The Martian. Apparently some people had issues with it, but I thought it was a really, really interesting film. Maybe they thought it was like too slow or something, but that's the kind of film I enjoy. Okay. A mandatory break for everyone so that we can all get our minds cleared out. That's what I'm demanding we do. Okay, that would reduce stress for all crew. And minus one dice for each of the, the captain and the specialist. Kayla's suggestion is suicide. 
this is going to hurt, but if I don't get out there and fix this bastard, I'm screwed and they'll have died for nothing. She's going to fix the hull and sacrifice herself. And Pakal's option is, I think we should focus on getting as much done as possible to give everyone their dice back from the last... No, no, I didn't suffer that consequence. And plus 20% stress for all crew, which is absolutely not what we want. The <laughs> if I chose this option, I would get 40% stress for everyone and only one dice back, which would equate to three dice back because Kayla's already maxed. Not choosing that. I do have the repair arm research, so I'm not willing to sacrifice Kayla just to repair three hull points. Option one is almost objectively the best choice, although I will basically be netting minus 20% stress instead of 30 because of not choosing Kayla's option. I think I'm just going to choose that, honestly. Minus one dice for, for the two of them is not debilitating. I don't have any food, but it's much better than the other options. So I'm going to choose that. De-stress everyone. That would actually just distress everyone down to 0%, I think, right? Oh no, that's, that's where it would be. Okay, I see. Cannibalism. <laughs> Why is it always there? Minus one maximum health. I don't think cannibalism is worth it at the moment. Except for the fact that Pakal is currently in the room with the three void hazards. If he fucks up and I have to send another crew in, that's two crew wasted on the one room which has been giving me the pesky weskies for the last two rounds. I want Pakal to just fix the damn room and be done with. That would free up three of my other crew members for the hazards that are happening this round. Also, Pakal has the least useful special ability for me right now because I have the repair arm ready for three hull damage. Maybe I should... Maybe I should delve into cannibalism and give Pakal some food he'll he'll be on five max health instead of six but we've made it so far into the journey maybe that won't be an issue he's currently on three health like of uh, of his total just jettison the corpses mate <laughs> no i should have jettisoned this corpse ages ago and then i wouldn't even be thinking about cannibalism i wonder what it looks like when you pick up the Ah, uh, oh, that's gross. <laughs> oh my god. If I give this meat to Pakal, he'll be on four dice. He'll fix the room he's in. No problemo. He'll be on five maximum health. And then Avalanche will be happy. I did it. Oh, yeah, that face, man. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. God, are we going to get the terms of service abuse for this? That was gross. I I'm not doing that again. I'm finished. New events. Low temperature in the whatever that room is. Uh, the quip is broken in the greenery room. And there's smoke developing in the laboratory. Oi. Just tell them it's hot dog meat. Yeah, man. It's um, special meat that I've procured for this hot dog. Also, there's a barber shop upstairs, uh, but it's unrelated. Trust me. Uh, Alright, well, I did say... I, the whole reason I fed him the hot dog meat was so that he would just fix this damn problem. There are three other events and three other crew members. I'm going to have to utilise everything I've got. Um, first thing, I just want to use this for peace of mind, the repair arm. Okay, what do we got? Prevent void, prevents miscommunication with mission control diminishing errors. Prevent void, hey, that would have been freaking nice in this room. Maybe I should do others first, 
Pakal is isolated on one sort of nook of the ship here. I can do him last. If I somehow get this, I can just use it and Pakal will just almost assuredly fix this subsystem. Dr. Kayla can probably... It's better to send Captain Jean in first to the, the greenery room. Maybe Al... Oh God, this is hard. The cockpit's fine. I could waste a crew member getting the special ability from the cockpit to reduce damage from movement. That would let one of those two move to the low temperature in the, uh, the whatever, med bay freaking life support room. And since Kayla has five dice, we could potentially reduce hull damage there. That could let Allison through to the, oh God, she's, I don't think it's worth wasting someone headed into the cockpit though. That's the problem. I need four crew members to fix four problems or at least choose one of them, which is the least problematic. Next round, there will be three additional problems as well. So I pretty much have to fix everything here and I don't know if I can do it. I have one assist. How many times have I died? Uh, Tom, I am currently on the same playthrough. I am three weeks to Mars. Um, similar to the, the band that Jared Letters in, except three weeks is quite a significantly longer time than 30 seconds. And if I messed up that reference, it's because I don't know anything about music and I just repeat what pop culture tells me. Oh God, what do I do, Tom? I need four problems fixed. At, at least I need to fix the SGANT fail in the therapy room and maybe another room, like the low temperature in the laboratory, not the laboratory. I keep forgetting life support. That way we'll only have one impending damage. Minus one health to all from the smoke in the laboratory is so far not the worst. Kayla is the doctor, even though she is in the lowest health. She may potentially have a spare dice from her five pool to heal herself anyway, with the added bonus of healing anyone in the room with her. So the minus one health I don't think is the biggest issue right now. I need to fix one of uh, one of these low-ended problems. Pa Pakal could just go first, do what I gave him the hot meat, the hot dog meat for anyway. Fix the two that do damage. Pakal can probably solve that one himself. Yeah, see, I gave him hot dog meat just for that. Thing is, there are three voids in here. Suppose he rolled two void dice. I would then have to just hope that I roll like a five on on both of the dice and it would be it would suck I was wondering Tom if I should move other people first maybe snag some research points elsewhere like ones and twos if I'm lucky and have the error check to prevent voids so that Picard could go like last and definitely fix the SGANT fail but I would need four whole research points for that because I currently have zero, so it's not a viable strategy if I'm gonna fix everything in this turn. Worth a shot to send Allison to the low temp. I could, she has two dice left. She is the specialist, but the hazard in the, in the laboratory or whatever this room is, is injury. Is that where you, smoke oh low hang on low temperature wait I, I got it mixed up we have two stasis hazards in here she she has re-rolls she's the specialist she's probably capable of fixing this system by herself if I'm lucky if any of my dice get stuck I would have to be incredibly lucky for it to be a two and then roll a six or it would be unavoidable and I would have to send someone through the danger zone to fix this right which is not the worst let's give it a go 
That's really bad. That was very unfortunate. Oh, my assist actually saved it. If I keep the four, all I've got to do is roll a four or higher. The odds of me rolling a four or higher is one half. Whereas the odds of me rolling an eight or higher on two dice is like 45% or something. So it's better for me to roll just the one dice here. Let's do it, let's roll. Save my assist, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved to do that. Now Pakal's gonna have a really bad time dodging those voids. But, as Pleasant Kenobi always says, better lucky than good, and I fucking wish it was right. <laughs> Why do you hate me? There's nowhere else these dice could go except research. I absolutely need to fix this subsystem. Let's put the four in. Uh, someone's gonna have to suffer damage and run through and fix the job. I'm gonna send someone through to this room and suffer a damage. Suppose I send Kayla. She's the doctor. There are no injury hazards in this room, so she's safe. I might be lucky enough with her five dice to A, heal both her and Allison, and or B, fix the subsystem, which needs only one anyway, but also have enough throws to fill up the research to four, and then Pakal can just fix this room pretty much with no problems. We did. Brayden, you missed it. You missed the the hot dog sequence. Okay. Minus one health to all is something I need to take care of. Problem being that if Kayla fails to heal herself, she'll die. If I send Captain Jean through instead, he'll definitely be able to fix the subsystem, but there's a chance he won't be able to do anything else. He wouldn't be able to heal anyone because he's not the doctor. He, like, regain dice is good. Maybe I could, like, get two the same if I'm really lucky. Otherwise, he can replenish dice just because he's the captain, right? So that might be better. That would mean Kayla would have to just try her her shot at the greenhouse to fix the greenhouse. What's in there currently? An injury hazard and two stasis hazards. So that's not looking particularly good for someone with five dice. She would die if she takes an injury and this happens. Where is it? The, the smoke. another human drumstick or two absolutely Allison needs she needs something going she's looking low on dice I have also energy boost down here so if I only get three let's say I sent Kayla through for some damage she was lucky enough to heal up to two health to avoid the inevitable destruction of her soul I could get three research points if I'm not as lucky as if I get four and we could give Allison some extra dice almost equivalent to a food right this is this fucking game is so difficult man I'm telling you I'm so close to the end only three weeks to Mars let's send Captain Jean through to this room <sighs> replenish some dice hopefully Um, that would leave Kayla susceptible. Oh, God. Frick. You frickin' fricks! When will you learn? If you had just rolled one frickin' dice higher, Allison, this wouldn't be a GD problem. <laughs> I hate this. Alright, I've got to stop dilly-dallying. Let's send Captain Jean through. 
If I go back, does that like put her back up to three hit points? Okay, thank God for that. I was like, you could just like kill your own crew member by deploying and then undeploying. Jean. Okay, Jean, fine. Jean. Like Braum. Let's roll. Let's get this done. Gimme give gimme give doubles. Not complaining. That's not too bad, actually. Let's put the one there. Let's put those two there to regain dice. All the way up to full. Which is way better than giving them, like, one and one IMO. Still have an empty research bar. But, what we'll have to do. We can just feed Allison some hot dog meat anyway. Pakal. Either, oh god. I really wanted that to help Pakal. Let's get Pakal to go next. If he fails, we'll send Kayla through to fix this with him. She'll suffer a damage, but but I'll I'll prioritize using her special ability to heal both her and Pakal to avoid death from the smoke. If Pakal can fix this on a whim and a prayer. Kayla can spend her time... Maybe I could even make her run through the... Oh no, she'd die, wouldn't she? Fuck. No! So hard. 50-50 chance. Alright, I'm going for it. Deploy! Um, let's, let's go. Let's roll. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are they red? What happened? Did he just like, oh wait, is it because he's like hot dog me? What happened there? Why are they all like yucky? Okay, fix, fix it. I'm not, if I reroll the four, I might get a five and I can patch up the hole. It's probably not even worth it to be honest. I'll just put it in the research. Finish deployment. One impending damage is much better than in than what we had going for us. Kayla can now... There's nothing really useful. She's blocked off. She's cut off. If I deploy her in here and she suffers one damage, she's at risk of dying. If she suffers two damage, she will just instantly die. I have no assists. Do I risk Kayla with a Pog Champ play? Or do I make her stay in the cockpit and just heal herself and then we'll have like two extra things to fix next round? Remember, we're getting a red event and two orange events next round. I need to tackle this problem and I need the power of God and anime on my side. Let's... Let's risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I think so. I have to risk it. I need at least a five or higher. Oh, that was really good. Yo, <laughs> hell yeah. Look at that. Thank fuck for that. 6, 12, 17, two fives, one for heal and one for research. Food's not a huge thing right now. I need this repaired. Boom, and boom, and boom, and heal yourself, and research. Dunzo. That was fantastic. Everyone suffers a damage. By shooting it with a laser gun or by feeding it hot dog meat all right chat help me out Allison and Jean or Jean rather let's focus on getting food stabilized and put some energy into that to gain food give themselves stress why are they so happy to just stress out all the time Kayla says you all just need a breath let's just stop and relax for a minute it will pay off in the long run 
to reduce stress across the board, but minus one hull. Not bad. Not bad. And Picard says, look, we can't keep working, working through all this bullshit. Our safety has to come first. No movement damage this round, but minus one dice for all crew. No movement damage sounds great, but dice is not looking so crash hot this round. The stress factor, Kayla is quite high on stress. If I give myself food and stress everyone out, it is just going to be like way bad in the in the long run. Whereas if I choose this option, minus one hole really is the least downside of the three options. Food, I have that food research. Also cannibalism. <laughs> Thank you again, Avalanche, for that suggestion. Hoi, if I choose the food, Allison will stress out. Everyone's stress levels will be high. Now, Tom, I'm led to believe that stress means that the side projects at the beginning of every round are, like, way worse. Is that true? If I choose the food, I can give it to Allison, and every one of my crew members will have at least three dice, mostly four and five. That would give me a chance to fix everything. Remembering that, like, there are there's still a room on our ship that hasn't been fixed. There are three subsystems that are going to suffer some hazards this round. There will be four systems we need to fix. We'll need every dice we can get. Minus one dice for all crew in that regard. Pakal's suggestion is really bad. But no movement damage seems really nice. But I guess the cockpit can do that, right? Minus 20% stress for all crew and minus one hull is the least risky, least rewarding strategy. That's Kayla's strategy. Whereas this one is a high risk and high reward. I think the only one of those to make the cockpit survive in the end. Oh, those, only those that make it to the cockpit survive in the end. Wow. Way to ruin everything. Um, true. Look. Food right now would be fantastic for Allison. She's the specialist after all. We need all of her re-rolls. Stress levels will be really high. If the options next round, the side project options are really bad, then so be it. I guess I could just like pick my poison. The hole's looking quite good. That's why I was considering taking the low risk, low reward option. But now that you've pointed that out, food is actually a really hot commodity around here and I'm not willing to feed them hot dog meat Pakal has already had <laughs> thing is and don't get me wrong here I hate the idea of it but maxing out Pakal to five dice would almost assuredly mean that we can fix the subsystem he he chooses to fix right the more dice the better we have an assist obviously because of the hot dog meat says tom almost at the end anyway i think those that all oh, right do it I've got two votes hot dog meat. Anyone else want to chime in with hot dog meat suggestions? <laughs> oh god, it's so disgusting. If I feed this to Pakal, he'll be on a maximum of four health, but he's down to two anyway, so like... What's going on with Allison? Her face is... She's having a bad time. Uh, don't, says Beck. Don't hot dog meat. Pakal, three dice is okay. I feel like if there's a subsystem near Pakal that has like a, a fixing cost of nine, then he might be able to fix it. But if there's not, he might be useless. And I need to fix like basically every subsystem this round to keep a fighting chance. There are only two weeks to Mars and there are two hot dog meats left. I guess the game wants you to like 
use them, right? They're not just there as a last resort to keep you from like stagnating. Where does the meat come from anyway? Did they lose one max health because they cut some flesh off? Um, yes and no. There was, in the tutorial, there was two crew members um, and there was like a food pantry where there was like this huge supply of food and that got compromised and destroyed. Uh, and the, the crew member that was in there died and the other crew member was basically put on life support. And the implication is that this food, this cannibalism is coming from that that downed crew member um, and <laughs> the game has no issue with saying here's all the food fuck it you're on your own now which I think is really interesting the red event though all oh, right I see I see so it's not even fresh crikey I guess not I mean this is space what bacteria is gonna get to it let's do it let's give Pakal his second hot dog Gro yep, that lip curl. I'm feeling it, dude. What do we have? UTA. For a second, I, th I equivalented that with UTI, and I was like, oh, that's not a good idea for a ship. We have a dits error in the cockpit, and an airflow fail in the med bay. All of these need to be fixed. This is the worst room. That is a major problem. This can be done. Pakal's in here already. That's worth two damage. He could single-handedly fix this and would most likely rescue the ship for at least one more round. There's only one orange thing next round. That's a good thing to note as well. If I don't fix everything here, I can suffer the least favorable Sorry, I can suffer the most favorable consequence, but next round I could almost assuredly patch up the whole ship because there's only one thing happening. Mm. What do I do? What do I do? Captain Digbutt. You have five dice. Ooh, Allison. Allison. Maybe we should send you into the airflow fail. A repair of 22. How good is prevent void if I work towards it? There's barely any void hazards here. Amphetamine, I could use, I could gain that over the course of this round, leave the smoke where it is in the lab, and the amphetamine would prevent that drawback, so I could then just focus on these three rooms. I don't need energy boost, right? I guess I could like shuffle the research, but that would be a, a waste if I'm saving for amphetamine. Just need another pog roll here. Yeah. <laughs> People need to go to the copy to make it to Mars. So send Kayla there now, okay. If I send Kayla to the cockpit, if I'm really lucky, I could activate that. Probably won't be that lucky. Injury and void on five. I need high numbers. That's just not great. First, even low and the Send a Jawn in first because she's on low health and needs the assist, right? I gotcha. I gotcha. So, if I send Jawn in first, he's on one health. If I hit a five, I'm dead. If I send Jawn in. Everywhere has a injury hazard. If I send him in here, get lucky and recover health before rolling a two. <laughs> this is so tough. Ah. 
Have an inkling to prevent injury won't negate the smoke damage. I wonder if you're right. It seems like something this game would throw at me. I absolutely need to fix this subsystem with Pakal. That's why I fed him hot dog meat. So I think I should just do this first. That would put the impending damage below the hull and I could be, I could rest easy knowing that I wasn't gonna die and I can be more sparing with my health on the crew members. Why is, are all his dice red? Okay, we rescued ourselves from injury. Why are all his dice red? Is it because he's like, got coronavirus or something? Well, uh, I could just fix that. Repair. Six, four, and two. Spend the one and the three in research. That puts me on... I needed a two and a six to get the amphetamine. Or I could re-roll. Because hot dog meat. I guess, yeah, hot dog meat, really. The three isn't going anywhere. Let's put the six, the four. Um, the only thing I would want to do with the remaining dice is research. So the three is higher than a two and therefore better to go and research. So we'll send the two into repair. That can go there, the one can go there. I'm on the way to amphetamine, even if it won't work. Which means that my captain needs to be healed by Kayla. Which means I would have to move Captain John first to then move Kayla into the same room, which is suboptimal, but it has to be done. Unless I send Kayla in to this room here, the life support, to just heal everyone and, and work on research. So that would waste her turn. But then Jean would have more than one health and would stand a better chance of fixing one of these systems. It's, it might be better to just do that. Clear the rooms. Clear the rooms. Okay, how do I clear the rooms optimally? If I send Allison into the airflow fail, she might be able to fix that. 22. Alternatively, I could shuffle, hope to get one of the, like, repair research projects. Fix it that way, give myself, like, a 17 bonus repair or something for, like, four cost. And Allison might be able to fix this room in one go. What that would do is I could then send Kayla in to fix the smoke and stop Captain Jean from dying overnight. Let's do that first. It's the least risky option. Allison can head in, try and fix this in one fell swoop. Not great. I gotta say, that is probably the worst roll I could have made. We have a two for research. Three is stuck. No use for any of the other dice. I'm gonna re-roll and see if I can find one of the repairing ones. Stimulants prevent stasis. Three repair to one module with frickin' duct tape. 28 repair to one module. It's a, it's a shame that three is stuck. frustrating that's really good I could use that on a different system if I'm lucky enough I think it's better to put the three in there because it's not doing anything else the four in there because I have the four covered in research bring this down to 15 spend the two in research because if I roll a one and or a six the disaster reduce can be really powerful over the next round or two.
Captain Jean is on one hit point. This sucks so bad. Kayla can head to the cockpit, fix that issue. Should I, should I risk it and send Jean there first so that Kayla can heal him? Or do I make sure that he lives? Duct tape though, yeah, freaking duct tape. Brilliant. If I send Kayla in first, she might be able to fix this. We could send Captain in anyway, give her a dice back. And that way Captain is sure to survive. That way we'd suffer two damage from this having failed and minus one health to all, Jean will die. Should I send Kayla on a suicide mission through the airflow into there to fix that, rescue everyone from, rescue Jean from dying? And we could even hope to get the disaster reduce filled out for Jean to use elsewhere. That's probably a good idea. Could Yolo a five plus and heal John Paul? No, you, uh, you can't heal. Oh, in the, um, are you talking about the med bay? Send Jean into the med bay. Avoid a two, roll a five and fully restore Jean's hit points. Is that what you're saying? That way we risk Jean dying. If Jean dies, that's not only one crew member down, but it's like, we have five dice on Jean and she's the captain as well, which has come up a couple of times, but is actually not like super useful unless you can combo. <sighs> God. If I roll a two, I'm dead. That's the problem. I really don't want to lose Jean. If I send Kayla through, fix the smoke in the lab, she'll lose her health for moving. Then we hit the same problem because the injury could well kill Kayla. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to go in and just risk it. This is currently worth two hull damage, so if we somehow survive, heal Jean to full, and fix this problem with, with her five dice, that would just remove this from the list of issues we have to deal with next round. <sighs> All right, chat. I'm gonna need you to be with me on this one. I'm gonna need your love and support and your prayers, and don't roll a two. What are the odds of not rolling a two here? Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that? I can't believe I didn't die there. That was fantastic. Pog! <sighs> this fucking game is so good. I could fully repair the system. I have my doctor. I could waste the doctor's turn running in and healing them both. Alternatively, I could spend this five to full heal. Then I would risk not repairing this system before the round. It honestly might be better to fix it all now, fix this entire system, and then send the doctor in and just hope to roll a fireball higher and repair. Plus the, she, the doctor can use the med bay anyway and work on research. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Let's repair this baby. Okay, Dr. Jones, get in there! Minus one health to all. I'm pretty much gonna have to roll a fireball higher and succeed with Dr. Kayla. <laughs> Jean will die if I don't do this.
Okay. There we go, we got a six. That's fantastic. Bam. Do I want to spend this six getting the disaster reduce? I have a reroll, I could roll the four and maybe get the bonus here, but I think the one of the six is perfect. It's it's too good to pass. So we'll put those in research. Now I have this, this is very powerful. Let's roll this and hope to get a five or higher. Oh well, never mind. Shame, shame. Okay, everyone's above one health. We've almost made it. After all we've been through, there's no turning back. It's a suicide mission. But then again, maybe it always was. Well, why did you become astronauts? This just got serious, chat. People just cockpit and use that to repair the cockpit. Okay, okay. Look, we can't keep working through all this bullshit. Our safety has to come first. No movement damage and minus one dice for all crew. Work, work, workity work time for more work. 10% um, stress if not chosen, but lose stress and whole integrity. I wonder if any ship is, any any of the ship is edible. What's the worst that could happen? Well, there's some of the ship that's edible, not the ship per se, something that's inside the ship that happens to resemble an astronaut of yours. Food and minus two health for all the crew, which would literally kill two of my crew, three of my crew. <laughs> all right, chat, vote three. <laughs> His face. Or oh, the whole damn ship is coming apart. I need to make repairs or it's all for nothing. Two hull, 40% stress for all the crew. Everyone will be maxed out stress. Two hull is nice. No movement damage is looking like a really good option at the moment. Everyone's so low on health. I'm gonna need to get everyone to the cockpit apparently and or fix problems elsewhere. My hull is at three currently. I still have Pakal who can repair the hull. Do it, triple kill. Fuck no, I'm not doing it. I should make a save state, finish the game, and then go back and kill them all. It would just be so funny. Triple kill, maybe in your dreams. If I choose this option, minus one dice for all crew is going to suck really bad. No movement damage would liberate every crew member to move wherever they like. It's too good to pass up. Food, yeah, no. Nah. I think option one has to be it. Four says Quirky Maple. I get two hull. I don't suffer any um, dice reduction and everyone's stress will be maxed out. I guess stress doesn't matter at this point because there won't be another jump. That would set me up well for not dying to the hazards that appear on my ship. But two of my crew members could not pass through any rooms on the ship that are damaged in that regard. Dr. Jones, you vote Dr. Jones. No movement damage is so important because my crew members are nearly dead. If I can't move them freely about the ship, then they are stuck wherever they are and they would be forced to encounter things which might subject them to injury. I think I have to go with option one. Sorry, Quirky Maple. That was the second of my choices. Two hull is really powerful. But <laughs> I was wrong, one, 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 one. Okay, all right, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'm choosing this option. It sucks to lose the dice, but it has to be done. Cannibalism. I lost a lot of dice just then. Allison, the specialist, is on two dice out of a possible five. 
if I feed her the hot dog meat, I would be putting myself in a way better position to winning the game. My ethics and morals will be 100% challenged, but I've already succumbed twice to that temptation. And furthermore, look at them, they're all so stressed. Furthermore, apparently I need this cockpit to be operational. Don't look. We've run out of fresh meat, but we can make more. We can make more? The game just gave me the option to kill a crew member and gain more food. <sighs> Quadra kill! <laughs> I hate you so much, dude. No, you were, I was not gonna triple kill them. Don't be satisfied with a quadra kill. That would be the funniest thing. Gets down to the last crew member. Jean's like, I've killed everyone. All right, I need more food than this. Hiya! Dead. I'm not killing anyone. I need everyone. They're all so low, though, on health. If I can get everyone into the cockpit, one by one. Allison can head in first. She's got the most health, the most possibility of repairing the cockpit. Then I can send Dr. Jones in and Dr. Jones can heal everyone if I move them all in sequentially. And I have free movement across the ship this round. Let's not kill anyone. We're going the full distance. At least one crew member must be in flight control for our mission to be a success. In addition, the ship must survive this final week. Any crew left behind will be remembered for their brave duty. Okay. The cockpit can be fixed pretty easily. All I have to do is make sure I'm already safe. Look, my hull is already at three. All I have to do is make sure that everyone survives the smoke from the laboratory. I will first send Allison in to fix the dits error in the cockpit. Failing that, I will have to just try and sacrifice. <laughs> What do I have? I have, I have, I have disaster reduce. I forgot completely. I have disaster reduce. I can send, I can send someone into the, the laboratory and just fix the smoke. Then the rest of my crew can head to the cockpit. Is it better to do that? Or is it better to just fix the cockpit? I could send like Pakal into the cockpit use the disaster reduce that way he's in the cockpit the ship is absolutely guaranteed to make it to mars the rest of my crew members can fix the smoke failing that kayla can risk it to heal everyone pakal is low on health maybe i ought to send oh god this is rough who do i send to the cockpit don't send someone this is my point don't send someone to the smoke just use it Use it on the smoke, says Tom. <laughs> okay, use it. I can, can I use it like here and just use it on the smoke, right? That way I'm guaranteed every crew member is going to live as long as I don't fuck up. I could even use Kayla now in this room for free, heal her and potentially others with the, the med bay power, then just send Allison into the cockpit, followed by Pakal. Do not need to fix the cockpit, okay. Um, yeah, she needs to be, she just needs to be in the cockpit to make it. So I can use the disaster reduce to repair the smoke. I can't do it unless someone's in there. I need someone to be in that room. I'm not gonna make them roll. I'll just use the research, but they have to, or can I just like go back afterwards, right? 
Okay. I will send Pakal. If I deploy him in there, I can go back, right? Can I use the research and still go back? I guess so. I'm just going to repair this. Boom, event completed, finished deployment, see? Um, I suppose I ought to use him to try and fix this. Look, one health, okay, nice. Oh god, those dice are disgusting. <laughs> I got a five. Oh, I can get assists from the lab. That would help immensely. I'm gonna do that. Put the one and the two in here for the duct tape and the small kit and be done with. We don't need any hull. Okay, done. Allison, get to the cockpit and f and you don't even have to fix it, apparently. Triple cyst. Oh yeah, yikes. Needs to be in the cockpit to make it. Okay, let's send Allison into the cockpit. There's an injury and a void. I can repair for three for free. So this is essentially a 13 instead of a 16. I can give someone health, I guess. Wait, where's the captain? Where's Captain Jean? Can I just, I'll roll Captain Jean in here to give Allison an extra dice, right? Probably way better. And then failing that, Kayla would have two hit points and three dice if Captain Jean can give her a dice. And then Allison and Kayla can fix the cockpit. Hopefully I can roll a five or higher. Pakal will be left behind. Oh, I think Pakal, yeah. No, I think only one member has to be in the cockpit and the whole ship makes it, right? The, it prompted me by saying that, like, basically you just need one person to survive. If all the others die trying to repair systems, then so be it. They lived a valiant life. I'm going to use Gene Captain ability to restore dice to the other two so that they can run in and fix the cockpit and man the cockpit. Okay, let's do it. Give me a five or a six. That that will do as well. Boom! Everyone's happy. One re-roll for research. Five is fine. I could even restore health. That was perfect. Masterful. Okay, finish deployment. Allison, get in there. Come on down. Now, void an injury. There was something here I remember about preventing stasis, but that does literally nothing. So I might as well... So I can use the duct tape for free. I might as well use that. I might as well use the health as well. Yeah, all of these don't really do much. One die to all crew, no movement damage, whatever. Okay. Let's go, Allison. Save the cockpit. Oh, your dice are disgusting as well. Holy crap. Both assists. Nice. That'll do it. I'm, I'm locking it in, Eddie. I'm not being greedy. Could have put the one in there, but I forgot. <laughs> and last but not least, Kayla. Is it worth sending her into there? So there's a good chance she'll just die, right? Where's the, um, oh, that is the hull repair, shit. Uh, regain dice, I guess, or harvest food. I could just send you into the, the food bay to make some yummies. Because I know the ship is surviving, right? The crew, crew and flight control will deploy to Mars. The ship must survive the, the turn. Or should I just send Kayla in and Allison and Kayla can be the victors who made it to Mars? It's telling me that Captain Jean and Pakal 
the mechanic are just gonna die. I guess I'll win anyway, right? I'll just deploy her in here. Yay! Give, give everyone health. You and research some stuff. Marvelous. There were times I thought we'd never make it. Times I doubted it would even be here if we did. But there it is at last. Mars. It's time to learn the truth. Oh, oh yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Pakal and Jean, you would be sorely missed. <laughs> Ooh. The moment we made contact with the anomaly. All the pain and horror of our journey washed over us. The journey we made countless times. Hey, it's Doom Guy. The journey we make forever. Hey, we did it. That was an exceptionally fun game, I have to say. I've gone on all night, all day, all morning, about how it's very similar to FTL, and it gives me that vibe. It's it's the roguelike feel of of having to start again every time you die. It's spaceships, it's subsystems, it's repairing stuff. But something about this game stands out from from anything I've really experienced before. It's such a simple concept, yet the complexity comes from it, it reminds me of like a board game like a resource management board game where the complexity of it comes from your strategy like i was saying earlier that was really really well done i really enjoyed that game congrats wizard Cruz! thank you thank you to my crew who've been with me the whole way along tom beck brayden everyone thank you so much <laughs> So I guess um, Captain Jean and Mechanic Pakal just were left behind. Made in Unity, of course it was. That was really impressive. I can't believe I actually won on the playthrough. I was expecting to get like an hour and a half in and die and be like, oh, we have time for another game. 1558. What's your high score, Tom, if you even have one? I was playing on normal difficulty too, and the strategy is literally telling me not to get cocky just because I'm ahead of the curve and you're- okay, never mind. Cool game, and also the concept of what it's all about, the story, everything, like, the the blood theme had me a bit confused at first, I was like, this is a freaking space game though, why is there like blood and that like, urban like, paint scratch kind of feel to it? But now that I've played through and the story has developed itself, it's like, I, I sort of understand. It's it's a gritty and grimy game of survival. It's not just a game of exploration and, you know, that was really enjoyable. Unlocked! Bone Skull is ready! And nothing, <laughs> I thought I was gonna like, that was one. There was space for another two things, but it's like, no, it's over here. That's what you get. All oh, right. Also this title screen, marvelous. It doesn't even say the name of the game until you press start, which I thought was really genius. We've got a whole bunch of missions and stuff, which I think I'd unlocked before, but I'll have to try those uh, another time. Um, have we unlocked any new peeps? Oh, Yuri Novak. Okay. Interesting, a pilot. Ignores movement damage. So all of these people have like 
different abilities, right? So I had only unlocked the four of them up the top here, but... Okay, so you have to, you have to like, do achievements and stuff. And 300 research points, nice. Yeah, super, super FTL vibes from this. I wonder if you could, like, have an expansion where there's, like, alien races. You can, like, have, like, you know, NGs and rock men and mantis folk and stuff. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, should probably wrap it up there, actually. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and, and playing with me the whole way through. That was really enjoyable. i definitely play this again on stream. If I have a bit of a practice in the meantime, I'll be back uh, next Wednesday. Um, might give it a, a crack on hard mode or try some of the missions or something. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this and I hope you did too. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, for being here. Check out, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see links to the social medias, the uh, Facebook and all that. Um, check out the stream schedule, which we have up on uh, social medias because uh, tomorrow uh, and the day after, I believe some of us from Nerds of the West are doing uh, single streams. And on Saturdays, usually we all get, all get together and do a multi-stream. Uh, very, very enjoyable last time we, we did that. It was the game show which uh, won me Tharsis in the first place. So um, it's always a riot to have everyone online at the same time, chilling out on the weekend. Um, and yeah, check out the social media also for updates as to um, our YouTube content. Uh, currently we're undergoing a, a bit of a stunt in in content on YouTube just because of the uh, the pandemic and all that but hopefully um, we'll have a few more episodes um, cooked up and ready to go for you soon I know Tom's working really hard on, on getting some of our um, footage all, all up to speed and up to scratch and stuff um, and yeah just just head over to our YouTube channel and click like and subscribe and all that it really helps us out and thank you so much everyone for your continued support uh, all of those who followed us on, on Twitch and all that and have donated bits every time we're older six. Really appreciate it. It was super fun. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.